2020 has been filled with some really terrible, terrible things. But the worst thing, in my opinion, are cartridge printers. Hi guys, I'm Tom. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing something that I am super psyched about. And I guarantee you, it's not this. This is a cartridge printer. It's got cartridges like cayenne, black, yellow, magenta. And to replace those colors, it can cost you nearly a hundred dollars. Not today. Yeet! Today we're taking a look at my new printer. It's the ET2720 Epson Eco Tank. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna, we're gonna open this guy up. We're gonna see what comes in the box. I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions and we're gonna set it up and maybe print something. So let's get into it. I should probably tell you how much this guy cost. So I bought this guy from Office Depot for $215.99 free shipping. So in my opinion, instant win already because knowing that I was going to replace ink, which I have for years with that printer, I spent a little bit of extra money. I now have a tank printer that's going to take regular bottle ink and hopefully save me some money in the long run. If you guys are interested, I'll, I'll make sure to throw a link below that you guys can check out this, this said printer, but let's, let's open the box. So right off the bat, we have paperwork and a software disk, which I don't, I don't have a computer that uses these anymore, but uh, so once we unpack everything, we're gonna have to dive, those are foreign. We might have to jump right back into these directions. We have a power supply. We have our ink and our printer. So another reason that I bought this printer in particular was it's a Wi-Fi printer. I, I don't usually keep my printer in the same room. Having something like a wireless printer it just makes your life so much easier. It also has mobile print so you can print directly from your phone. It's great. Um, I thought the price point was, was pretty good. Uh, there's one thing about this printer in particular that I'm not super excited about, but we'll get to there when we start taking a look at it. So one of those things that surprised me actually with this printer is how light it is. This printer, straight out of the box, this printer is only 8 pounds, 13 ounces. This is literally less than a bag of potatoes. It weighs the exact same as 8 pounds, 13 ounces of feathers. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Okay, so we are going to take the tape off. And this guy is absolutely covered. Oh, that was, that would have been... Oh no, that would have been so satisfying. <sighs> I don't ever feel like there's a right way to remove the tape from these things. Turns out there is. So here it is in all of its glory. I like white. It looks good. It's sharp, it's clean, it's super light. As you guys can see on the front of the unit, there's windows that showcase the different tanks. Once you put the ink inside, you can see the different levels and hopefully kind of gives you some sort of insight. <laughs> it gives you insight into how little uh, this ink company is trying to screw you. I started looking at Ecotank printers after seeing a video by Austin McConnell. Uh, about how ink cartridges are a scam. I'll throw a link to that video uh, also. It's an incredible video and it, it really shows you the price point of low priced printers, high priced ink versus spending a little extra, hopefully, on something like this where your, your dollar goes a little bit further. So, so back into the instructions because I've actually never filled a printer with ink before. So we unpacked it, check. Fill ink tanks. Oh, that comes right out. Oh, look at that. So this guy opens right up and then, oh, like a traditional ink cartridge, it's labeled on the inside and you just, I'm assuming, squirt your ink in there. So inside this little flap, it's labeled the type of ink that you get, which is 522 and it's got it's got the four different colors, which, which are right here, which are black, blue, pink, and yellow. All right, fill the ink tanks. So let's just start out with black. 
all of these packages are vacuum sealed. There's definitely a lot of care that comes into the transporting of, of this product. Okay, so I wanna make sure I know I'm doing this right. Unpack the ink, twist it off. Do not shake or squeeze the bottle. Don't touch the top. That's what she said. <laughs> this looks pretty foolproof. Wait for the ink to fill the tank. Do not squeeze the bottle. So here we go. We're gonna turn this upside down. I can hear it. Actually, let me show you guys. Okay, so right here, all we did was was turn the ink upside down. There's a little, um, there's, you can't really screw it up. As you can see right there, there's, uh, there's little notches at the top of the ink cartridge. It just pulls in there and gurgles up and fills the tank. That is pretty cool. I don't know uh, how long to wait while it fills. It sounds like it's done, but you know like at the end of a ketchup bottle? It's kind of what I want to do, but I'm not going to. I want to get I want to get the most bang for my buck. Like how long do I wait? I think we can do blue while we wait. Oh, so let me show you this bottle. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see it clearly, but there are there's little divots on the top and the bottom of the bottle head, and those are to slide right in to the little divots on the side of blue. So um, let's do this one next. It is very satisfying. Oh, you can see it with the light there, how much ink is going in. Look at all of that ink. That's insane. Wow. And then you can see it in the tank. I love this. And that's it. So I'm going to let those sit for a hot second and I want to show you something. So prior to actually buying this entire setup new printer, I went out and bought new black ink for my old Canon Pixma, like old Canon Pixma printer. This package cost me like $18 for this one small black cartridge. It weighs 1.7 ounces in the package. This tube of yellow ink, 3.7 ounces. So I just looked up on, on Amazon, the same exact ink kind, that 522 ink. You can buy black, blue, red, and yellow compatible Epson ink on Amazon right now for $25. That's insane. And you're getting so much more. Okay, on to another color. So I'm gonna take these ink tubes out. Oh, there's still a little ink in there. I'm gonna save these. Thrifty. Okay, so where this is a full tube for 3.7 ounces, there's still 1.3 ounces left in that container, or that container weighs 1.3 ounces. We'll see if that's consistent with the black one. There's still a little bit of ink left in this guy as well. 1.2 ounces. So it might be one of those things that the tank can only hold so much and they're guaranteeing you right off the bat that you were able to fill an entire tank. I'm gonna still hold on to those and I will see if uh, if they take more once I start printing a little bit. All right, on to yellow. So you guys can see in the yellow one that there's just a little bit left at the bottom of that cap that's not going into the tank. Uh, these are called auto stop tanks also. So it might be one of those things that once it's full, it's physically not allowing any more ink to get inside the printer. Okay, so we're done with yellow. And last but not least, magenta. I wouldn't know what to do if I put the ink like in where it wasn't supposed to be. It might be cool though as like a printer, like if you were to put like blue and the black and the black and the yellow and the yellow and the magenta and the magenta and the cayenne, cyan. Is cyan, is it cyan or cayenne? I feel like cayenne's definitely a pepper. It is. Love that. It's so satisfying. So as that's filling up, I'm going to clean off our workspace. 
and get the power cable ready to set this printer up. So while this printer is super light and uh, it, it doesn't feel very rugged, um, it's mostly plastic and I think that's why it is so light, but the size of it isn't terrible either. It only runs 15 inches by 12 inches and stands seven off your table. Very, very small. So on to something that I wasn't super psyched about buying this printer. Um, my old Canon printer had a slot tray where I was able to put, I think between 30 and 40 pieces of paper so I didn't have to load them. This printer does not have that and instead it has a back tray. So the paper that you do put in this machine is definitely, is definitely limited. Uh, which is unfortunate. I don't like the way it looks. I also feel like sometimes your paper gets dusty, depending on how long you have it out. And uh, it definitely doesn't hold, doesn't hold a ton of paper, which is another super unfortunate thing. We'll leave that in there now, but we are gonna plug this guy in. So let's see the startup menu. There's something that they're calling ink charging. It might just be priming, priming whatever rollers or jets that they, they use. But we are currently plugged in. Moment of truth, power button. There we go, and we're in English, which is good. There's a lot of different nuances between the different models that Epson puts out. One of the things that didn't bother me but might bother somebody else is the size of this very, very tiny um, navigation screen. It's a little over one inch by one inch. Um, it's really small. There's no way around it, it's just, it's tiny. The printer is already making some noises, welcoming it to the world. I don't want this either. It says preparing right now. Never ever in my life would I think that I would be so excited about a printer. See the start here bundled with the printer or on the website to complete installation. This is what I don't like is when it's just like, you're good. When instructed to see the start here sheet, press and hold the question mark button help button for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Start installation. Confirm that the tank is filled with ink. What is that button? I did it. This is actually kind of loud. Initializing, do not turn the power off until initialization is complete. This takes about 10 minutes. Uh, so with that being said, I'm gonna turn off the cameras and I will come back once this has totally finished. Okay guys, so we are almost there. Um, but I, I just wanted to show this off uh, just to put in perspective how small that screen is. Um, that's a that's a quarter. So it's, it's a little bigger than a quarter. It's it's a really tiny screen. Okay, so we uh, we just got installation and initialization complete. It definitely says initialization. Okay, so here we are. Um, all we have to hit is okay for done and we're done. So after the 10 minute initialization, the printer then had me run multiple printing tests from checking the print nozzles to aligning print heads and then picking the best one out of seven printed color patterns or patches that had the least number of lines. Once that step was complete, the printer was ready for use. I then set up my Wi-Fi, which in all honesty was a bit of a headache due to the limited typing controls and capabilities of the printer. But after at least one failed attempt, I got everything working perfectly. Going into printers! Shows right up, Epson ET2720. Boom! That was fast. Now we're gonna print up pages. I wrote test. I wrote test on a piece of paper. Print this bad boy. Oh, it registered. Look at that. I'm really glad that, uh...
If you guys are interested in looking at this printer on Amazon, like I said, I will throw links below uh, for the ink and also for the printer itself. If you guys like this video, please be sure to subscribe and watch another video while you're at it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.